we have one big problem, even though our citizens are more empowered than ever before. We have been laboring under this illusion, a lot of us, particularly those of us who make more modest incomes and have to get kids to childcare early in the morning and go off to work, that it's enough for us to vote in presidential elections and we don't have to vote in the off-year election. Well, in the off-year elections, 100% of the House of Representatives is elected. One-third of the Senate is elected. Most governors are elected. Most state legislators are elected. And if you think it doesn't make a difference, you're wrong. In 150 years, there have been four financial crashes in America and many in other rich countries throughout the world. We had them in 1872, 1892, the Depression in 32, and the one in 2008. There was one in Japan in 1990 that wasn't over when I left office. They take, on average, 10 years to get over. That is, on average, it takes 10 years to get back the jobs you lost when the financial section crashed. And it's not hard to figure, is it? Think of all the people who lost their homes in California. So banks are scared to lend, people are scared to borrow, families are scared to spend, everybody's scared to take a chance. When a business starts doing better, they just try to get everybody who works hard to work harder instead of hiring somebody extra. Everybody goes around the next shift. It takes a long time. You've got to decide whether you believe in trickle-down economics or you believe it's better to grow the economy from the middle out, give working families a chance to get a pay raise, and poor people a chance to honorably work their way into a decent life. And I don't care what anybody else tells you. I don't care what the ads say. That's what this election is about. We want to raise the minimum wage. We believe in equal pay for equal work. We believe in reforming the college loan program, lower the interest rates, and make it possible for people to pay all their loans back as a percentage of their income so that nobody has to drop out. We believe in investing in your future in science and technology. That's what we believe in. The one problem with these rallies, no matter how great they are, is that in the parlance of my native culture, I'm preaching to the saved here. <laughs> but every one of you no, somewhere between 25 and 100 people that you will actually physically see between now and the election who are not here, who have exactly the same interest you do in the outcome of the election, and who may not vote if you don't personally ask them and tell them what we discussed here today. If you want more affordable college loans, you got to vote for Julie Brown, Carol Williams, and Ken